Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Granny back again with an arena video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Well today I want to spend a few minutes and talk about the recently announced 5 star arenas that will be added to the game here in about a week or so. And specifically talk a little bit about the cutoffs, my, my initial thoughts anyway around cutoffs, as well as what the infinite streak might look like, what it takes to get to the infinite streak. Um, in terms of the um, new arenas themselves, you can use 4 stars, 5 stars, and 6 stars. And other than that, I think one of the big kind of outcries from the community as soon as this was announced and all the information was released was kind of around the rank rewards as well as the milestone rewards. The milestone rewards really are just giving a lot of premium hero crystal, not shards this, t this time, but um, fully formed, but still for a five star arena, a lot of folks feel that's a little bit small. But anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on the uh, specifics about the arena more about the uh, cutoffs and the infinite streak so when it comes to uh, the cutoff again I said just a minute ago or so that four stars five stars and six stars can be used and in the case of the six stars um, the score they're going to give is about three times more points than what you get for five stars and that's going to be five stars around typically give around 20,000 points um, once you've got that uh, three times multiplier up and running so I think um, so that's around 60,000 points um, for each six star. Basically what this means in my mind, it's it, it turns this arena, at least for the time being, into kind of like a pay to win. So any of the uh, big uh, whales out there can who want to who want to eat you know put a lot of money into units can go ahead and just keep on refreshing and reviving those six stars to get uh, that sixty thousand per each time which you know times three you're talking about one hundred and eighty thousand they can quickly get that number up and um, following that there's only a hundred and fifty five star rank reward so we're probably considering what I just talked about around the six star. Um, points we're probably looking somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 million for the cutoffs and that seems ridiculously high but keep in mind we did have 20 million without six stars included for void not too long ago so i think especially since we're only talking 150 as well versus like 800 now that we have for the four star feature arena i think you're really going to look at sky rocketed cutoffs now what will be interesting, and I think what's going to be more attainable for most players of the game, especially the intermediate, middle level, and up, will be the shard healing shard tiers because there's some decent rewards there like 2,000 for that 11 percent to 30 and the 31 gets like 1,000 five star shards and there was 2,000 five star shards for that uh, 11,000 to 30 or it's 11,000 11 percent to 30 percent uh, tier. So there's definitely some decent five star shards, and I think there was even some of the um, the six star shards included as well. So I think it, it, that would be interesting to see where those cutoffs are, because I think that might be a place that a lot of folks can go. At. Well, not a lot, but some folks a lot, a lot more than that 150. The whale milkers will be going for kind of thing. So that will definitely be interesting to keep our eyes on. Now, in terms of the lower, what will this haul? You know, what will this mean for the older? arenas what about lower cutoffs potentially and i think at least we'll see a marginal decrease for the actual where you get the champ i think you'll see, there will be a decrease i just don't know how big we were all thinking when these new arena structure came back out in march 2017 the three star champs would just you know every you can get them really easily well other than old champs anytime there was a new champ you still had to go like to 1.5 1.6 million i think we're still in that kind of range we hear recently from void and hulk ragnarok so i i'm not so sure what how big of a decrease i think we'll have a little decrease for the four star basic and the four star feature um but i don't think it'll be significant for those champ um tiers however I do think we should see a decent decrease for the shard hunting because I think you'll see a lot of folks, like I was saying just a minute ago, go after shards in the five-star arena, plus not to mention the folks that drove those numbers up higher in the four-star feature to begin with. I think a lot of those folks will move over to the five-star, allowing, again, the champs numbers to move a little bit lower. But I think the the shard tier should drop quite a bit. So like for the four star feature, for example, we're looking at like four, six, four, seven million for the um, for that top shard tier. I think that might drop down now to four million, maybe even under that. And I think we're like around anywhere from two point three to two point five million for the um, that eleven percent shard tier. That might actually drop to that one point five kind of thing. It'll be interesting to see for sure. And we can't just take the first results when the uh, the arenas are released next week. To, uh, is kind of the, oh, this is the way it's going to be you know it always takes about three to five i'd like to like after a good month month and a half of arenas running the five star arenas are running i should have a good feel on what these actual cutoffs will look like moving forward now 
when it comes to the infinite streak early thoughts, typically we can look at older lesser arenas and get a good idea of how the infinite streak will build for the five star feature or yes, five star feature arena. So based on this premise, here are my thoughts on, you know, the first attempt on trying to get into that infinite streak, assuming that an infinite streak will be included. If Kabam really wanted to Kabam the community, they could uh, change the coding to a way that the, you can no longer get to an infinite streak. My guess is that's not the case because I don't know. We'll just say we'll, we'll go on the positive side and because Kabam wants to do a favor for the community and allow that infinite streak to exist versus being lazy and not wanting to change the look code and just copy paste over like they did a lot for Transformers Forge fight. I, that's, the pessimist of me saying, but I won't agree. I'm going to go the optimist and the positive side and say, hey, they did it to make sure we can get to that entrance for, for, uh, still. But anyway, um, here are my thoughts on how that would work, at least from based off of what I'm doing for like four star feature, for example. I think fights one through 12, you can use your, um, you can use three, rank one, level 10, four star. So the lowest fully leveled one, um, rank one, I should say, fully leveled rank one, four star. Keep on using those even through fight 12. And so I'd say worth like round 11, 10, 11, and 12, it will be tougher fights for sure. So save any of your power control champs that you may still have as uh, rank 1 level 10s um, and use them in, uh, in in those rounds. Now when you get to fights um, in fight 13, you're probably – based off of the four-star feature, it looks like you're going to need at least one rank 4 level 55 five-star and then two rank 5 level 55 rank uh, four stars then with fights 14 through 17 you can use three rank five level 55 four stars and then lastly fight fights 18 plus you can use um, three rank four level level 44 or sorry i should say 45 four stars that will be kind of like the lowest level type of champ you can use and maintain that infinite streak um, and of course, you know, the way that these kind of infinite street guides go, these are the lowest level of those champs you can use. So anything above that you have still in your roster, you can use. So for example, once you get to fight 19, you don't, it doesn't have to be all rank four level four, 45s. You can have rank five level 55s. You can have five stars that are rank three, that kind of thing. You can tend to use it. Maybe even even rank two. I think, yeah, rank two, five stars fully level can be used as well. Once you get to fight 19 plus kind of thing. So anyway. These are my thoughts both on the infinite streak as well as uh, early thoughts on the cutoff considerations. Would love to hear your thoughts on both. Uh, plus the overall, what do you, how do you feel about the five-star arenas now that they're coming into? Is this kind of like not something that's going to be too useful for the entire community and all the players and just really target at that top 1%? Or is this something that, yeah, maybe we can't get the champs, but hey, we can get more shards and maybe it helps out, you know, all the other arenas across the board and drops cutoffs moving forward. But love to hear your thoughts, especially on that infinite streak. Is that infinite streak, do you think that that's going to be the way to work? If you got any builds, throw them on down in the comment section. We can talk them there as well. Anyway, Thanks a lot for watching. If you uh, like this video, would really appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you like this and other videos I have on the channel, would really appreciate a subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.